common questions that I get asked as a software engineer is, how did you find the language of code you wanted to learn? How did you actually learn how to code? And how did you get your first job? So in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how I did all that and how you can hopefully do the same. You can do it! So I'm gonna start off by telling you guys my story, then how I got my first job, and then I'll be telling you guys how you can learn to code, how you guys can get your first job, and so on. So I'll have timestamps on the screen somewhere, and you guys can skip to that if you want to. So let's start off with my story. I started learning code about three years ago when my dad introduced it to me. So me and my dad were driving home from picking something up, and he was explaining to me how he was getting an app built, and it sounded really interesting to me. So he explained a little more, and then I think that same night he gave me his, he let me use his laptop to start learning code. So the language I started learning was Swift, and it was specifically UIKit. So I started off using a course from Angela U off of Udemy. I uh, think I used this course for six months, honestly. It was a long time. And I learned so much from that. That's where I got all my info from at that point. And yeah, I don't know if I would recommend it now since it's pretty outdated. I haven't checked, checked it out in a couple years. So a couple months after I started learning Swift, my dad came to me with an opportunity to build his company a small app, nothing crazy. It was a coffee timer where I think what happened was every hour a timer would go off and the person would have to change out the coffee or check it or something and then they would just press a button it would reset and continue i don't know it wasn't anything crazy so that was the first ever app i built for someone and this was probably three or four months within learning and it was a struggle it took me way longer than it should have i could probably build it in two or three hours now and back then it took me like a month Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, we are so close to 2K, so thank you guys so much. So looking back on that first app I ever built, I see the progress I made till now, and it's really cool to see, and I definitely think you should do the same. Starting now, after your first couple months of learning, build a small app, website, or whatever you're doing, and then in a year or two, once you made a whole bunch of progress, come back, look at that first project and see the progress you made and it's amazing so after that first course i took from udemy i went and just started building some little projects on my own and then this was all during the winter and then summer started and i took a three month break and i didn't code at all i did every now and then i wish i wouldn't have stopped but i did because i was working on a farm and i didn't really have too much time to do it and i wasn't feeling very motivated but then once school started, I started learning again. And this time I continued to do it and I didn't stop. Forward to now and I'm currently uh, learning Swift UI. And I'm doing that through Hacking with Swift. You guys can go check him out. He's an amazing teacher and I learned so much from him. So I'm currently building a fairly big app for my dad's company and that is you, I'm using Swift UI. Currently, I was strictly UI kit for some reason, and now I have to go and learn Swift UI, which it's pretty easy to be honest, and it's going pretty quickly. So that's what I'm doing right now, and yeah, that's kind of my story of how I learned to code. And now let's move on to how I got my first job. So if you guys didn't already know, I work for my dad at Market Square Tech, which is a software company, obviously. And the only reason I was able to get a job at 16 is because my dad owns a company. Most normal people wouldn't hire a teenager as a software developer. But if you're or a teenager and you're looking to get a job as a software engineer, then later in this video, I will tell you guys how you can do that. So stick around. Working for Market Square Tech for probably about two months now. I've been building projects for my dad for a while, but right now, for the past two months, I've been actually working and getting paid from Market Square. And it's been awesome. I really love it there. I enjoy coding. I enjoy the environment. I work with two other people, one developer and then one manager. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. And if you guys are looking for a pretty chill job, 
and one that's not physically exhausting, I definitely suggest you check out software development, which if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're either thinking about doing or you're already doing. So I guess you don't really need to know that. How can someone who's a teenager or someone who doesn't have a college degree get a software development job? So first of all, the, probably the easiest way is to become a freelance developer. And if you don't know what that means, a freelance developer is someone who does development for other people, like not working for a big company, but working for yourself. First, you get to set your own hours. You don't have to work for a big company. You don't have to go in at eight and leave at five. You can start at 10 and end at five, or you can start at 10 and end at three. Whatever you want, basically. As long as you get your job done and do it well, you can choose your own hours. And the second is you can set your pay. You can charge what you want and you're not getting paid by a bigger company who's not paying you much. You get to set your own pay. Third, you get to work from anywhere. You're not working for a company, so you don't gotta be there. And you can work from home, work from vacation, wherever you want. And those are the big three benefits. Now you're probably thinking, that sounds great and all. You get to set your own hours. You get to work from wherever you want. And you get to set your own pay. So how can you get a job as a freelancer? How can you get customers and clients? So the number one place to go is Fiverr. Use the first link in the description to sign up for a Fiverr Pro account and then fill out your account info, create a really good profile, make it attractive so people see it and they want to hire you. So as you start out, you're not gonna have any reviews and people most likely won't choose you if they don't see any reviews and if your prices are high. So starting out, you're gonna have to start cheap, unfortunately, but once you get more customers and once people give you five-star reviews and then other people will see that, and they'll want you and they'll want your work and as you start to build that community and you get more five-star reviews other people are going to see that and you'll be able to up your prices and you'll be able to grow pretty quickly and that's how i think you can get your clients and make money off of doing freelancing so now how can you get a job at a big company so i don't think it's very easy it is possible but it's not easy to be able to get a uh, job at a company that's very big and pays a lot so i think the best strategy is to start at a small startup and then kind of make your way up to a big company and then that's how i would do it but of course i've never i'm kind of right now i'm kind of at the bottom at the smaller company and i'm hopefully going to be able to make my way up and maybe work for a bigger company or even help the company I'm currently working for help it to grow. Now if you guys want a more in-depth video on how I would start a how I would become a freelancer and get clients and jobs or how I would get a job at a big major company let me know down in the comments and I'll make a video about that. I'm going to talk about an SAAS. If you guys don't know what that is it is software as a service which is basically what it sounds like any app website anything like that. Currently, I'm actually doing this myself. I just bought a iOS and Android app and I'm gonna be trying to offer it to my two people, anybody actually, it's a game anyone can play. And I'm gonna be trying to get downloads and make money off of that. So if you wanna see that, I actually have a video on this channel, so go check that out. And anyways, so how are you gonna be able to do this? There's plenty of videos on YouTube that teach you how to do it. But the simple answer is just basic create an app or a website or anything software as a service related and then market it, get downloads, make it be able make it monetized, make it to be able so it can make money. So here are some of the pros of uh, offering a SAIS software as a service. One, you don't have to work for anyone. You work for yourself. <clears throat> and you work for the people who are using your website or app. So that's one of the benefits. And you can, the second benefit is you can make a lot of money. And the third benefit, you can become a boss. You can hire employees. 
and you can say this is my app and go download it or this is my website go check it out and that's something really cool and yeah if you guys actually have an app on the web on the app store or a website then you know what I mean so if you want to start a, a successful SAAS then you want to have a good app website or whatever it is and you have to have it be able to be monetized so you can actually make money off of it <clears throat> and there's a couple things that go into it but if you guys want to learn more about it I definitely recommend you go watch Vin Cravada he's a youtuber and he shows people how he makes apps without coding and software as a service um, go check him out he talks a lot more in depth about it and he can probably explain it a lot better than I can but if you want to follow my journey with that make sure you subscribe and go check out my other video Thank you guys for watching this video and again if you want a more in-depth video on how I would go about becoming a freelancer or getting a job at a big company or even starting an SAAS then I um, then let me know in the comments and I will maybe make a video about that in the future. And yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.